In today's session, we're going to be talking about certificate pinning, right, as part of that SSL TLS, right? And what exactly is it and uh, why do we really do it, right? So let's look at our scenario here. We have our client uh, on the left hand side, we have our server on the right hand side. Uh, and as we discussed in our previous videos, the SSL and TLS is all about establishing that secure channel and it's broken down into that handshake and that finishing part right and essentially what we're going to be doing here is if you look at it you know the client app sends that initial hello packet there you know offering those ciphers we kind of get the certificate back from the server right but the key element here is is that you know the issue here is, is when we get that cert back from the server we're really trusting the certificate authority there. We're actually trusting the DNS, right? Uh, and we're trusting a, a, essentially a chain of uh, entities there, right? But what actually happens if that environment here, the actual server residing here, exists in some kind of hostile environment, an environment that we may not necessarily uh, trust, right? And also, um, what happens if there is kind of like a an entity that sits in the middle, like a man in the middle, uh, that can compromise and forge that certificate for us, right? And that's essentially where certificate pinning comes in. And essentially, what you're really doing here is you are on the client side, you are actually pinning a certificate there, right? Um, and, you know, there's a number of ways we can actually do that. So it, what actually happens is when that server sends that certificate back, to us, uh, to the client, uh, we basically hash it, you know, we, we match the hash, we verify that, but we also match that the certificate that actually comes back matches the actual certificate that we have installed, right? Um, and we can actually do that in two ways, right? So we, I mentioned the actual certificate, but we can also in addition uh, pin the public key of that cert, right? So the client app can actually use the public key or the cert that's actually pinned and kind of like match it when we get that response back from the server, right? And that's where we're guaranteeing it, right? So by doing the actual certificate, pinning the actual certificate is much easier. When we're actually pinning the public key, uh, it's much more flexible, right? So that's the main differences between the two, right? And we're really kind of like avoiding any uh, threats or any risks associated with man in the middle um, attacks here, right? And that's essentially what certificate pinning is, right? Uh, thank you.